I feel ashamed to call myself an honorable member, honorable speaker. I gave myself for service. I did not give myself for the poor people to feed me and my family, honorable speaker. When I saw this, I felt embarrassed. I did not want to come to this budget session because I said to myself, there is no need because we are just sharing the cake in our pockets, going home, feeding ourselves. Hello guys, welcome to my page once again. Today your first time watching my video. Please don't forget to follow my page, like, share, comment. And if you're watching me on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe so that whenever I post a new video, you will see my new video. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So today's news is about this Gambia woman for the House of Representatives. This Gambia woman, see, oh man, I, I'm not sure if we get this kind of woman for Nigeria. Even man, we don't forget that all of them are to thief money, to thief money. To see this kind of woman in Africa, they speak the truth. Then, on my area, for Nigeria, they go don't pay me. They don't pay me, they go, go give her money, you know. Ah, on my, this woman, you speak the truth. Make a no talk too much. What's the video? Looking at the Honorable Minister's statement and looking at the budget, I think that our government does not love this country. We do not have the feeling to nurture our children in this country. Honorable Speaker, six billion dollars in salaries alone. speaker to see the salary of the honorable speaker increased from 658 million to one to 658,000 to 1 million 560 I feel ashamed to call myself an honorable member honorable speaker I gave myself for service I did not give myself people to feed me and my family, Honorable Speaker. When I saw this, I felt embarrassed. I did not want to come to this budget session because I said to myself, there is no need because we are just sharing the cake in our pockets, going home, feeding ourselves. Not only that, but to see the responsibility allowance, the residential allowance, the roping allowance, and all those the representatives of the people it is embarrassing for me to go back to my poor constituency and tell them that the meager resources of this country I am paid that much at your expense I took an oath honorable speaker to serve and to give back to my society not to enrich myself and even if I go to the Constitution, Honorable Speaker, it says that we shouldn't deliberately enrich ourselves. And increasing our salaries is deliberately enriching ourselves. And that is an embarrassment. I think as a National Assembly, we should not accept any salary increment. It was in this August Assembly that we sat and discussed the salaries of the ministers and denied them, even though they went behind our backs and increased it. Is their problem. We offered ourselves for service, Honorable Speaker. We are not appointed, we are elected and we offered ourselves, Honorable Speaker. And I think we should think of our people when we do the budget. I'm not, I'm not allowing you to observe. I don't have that time. When you are on your own feet, observe yourself, please. Thank you. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, 
Honorable Speaker, when we go to the office of the President, Honorable Speaker, I have seen new units, ICT units, being established at the office of the President. The office of the President has, a, uh, I think, uh, whatever they call it, the person that does uh, public speech or whatever that lady. Why would he need an order ICT? Why would the Honorable, um, the, His Excellency, want six advisors? How many ministers does he have in addition to the new ministries? If the president is telling us that the ministers are not good enough, I told this August Assembly there last year when we did the budget, if he is implying that his ministers are not good, let him serve them and apply and, and, and appoint advisors. The ministers, according to our constitution, should be competent enough to advise him on any policy under their ministries. And if they are not good enough, if they are not good enough, and if that is what he's implying, that they are not good enough, let him sack them and appoint advisors in that place. But as a poor country, we cannot be paying ministers, and be paying advisors, and be paying deputy advisors. Come on, we are a poor country. Instead of thinking of ourselves, six billion in emoluments alone. Come on. Honorable Speaker, I think we should think of the Gambian people, not our pockets. We say that when you are a politician, your skin starts shining. And I'm starting to believe it. Once you are appointed a minister, before two months, you marry a second wife. You start buying homes abroad. Come on, at the expense of who? At the expense of the poor Gambian? No way, Mr. Speaker. I am ashamed to call myself a National Assembly member. To be honest, I did not want to contest again the only reason I contested was to show them that I can come back to this August Assembly. And I did against all odds, Mr. Speaker. If they want, they can die seeing me at the Assembly. But I will come and I will speak my mind and I will go home and I will eat my lamb. That is who I am, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I looked at the Ministry of Justice's budget. Mr. Speaker, we have TRRC. Mr. Speaker, we don't have the commission anymore, but we have the recommendations of the TRRC. Mr. Speaker, is the president not willing to act on the recommendations of the TRRC? Sometimes I wonder if he is, because to be honest, I'm not against anybody, but we've suffered for 22 years. And after 22 years, 2016, we thought we were embarking on change. And the Honorable President imposed certain people on us, and I think that was deliberate so that we will not implement the recommendations of the TRRC. Mr. Speaker, if you look at 2021, the TRRC, 46 million. 2022, zero. 2023, zero. So that is a direct indication that he does not want to anything on that. Yes, the commission is no more. But the recommendations, how are we going to do implementation if nothing is, 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 is allocated for it? Mr. Minister, take note of that, please. We did not suffer for 22 years in vain. I personally lost my dad on a, a dictatorship of the previous regime. I'm not saying do whatever, but I'm saying let us work on the recommendations. Let us act on them, put money on it, so that we will at least have hope that there will be recommendation. Mr. Speaker, and I've also seen that payment of school bus services to GTSE in 2021, 909 million. 2022, 10 million. 2023, zero. So the little support that they were giving to our children to use the school buses, they have taken. What have they done with it? Is that what they are using to add to their salaries? I am asking, let us give to our children. Our children need support. We have seen 70 plus children die. What have they done? Is it reflected in the budget to make sure that that has stopped, that will not happen? Because I've had here the reason was because we did not have labs to do the test. Mr. Speaker, has that been picked in the budget? We did not come here. We did 
not fight to win our elections, to come here and eat and take the little resources, take it home and put it in our pockets. That is not me. And I know it's not my goodness as well. I trust you all, honorable colleagues, to make sure that there is no increment. Let us start from home. Let us start from home. Let us not increase the salaries of the leadership in this assembly. When I looked at the budget, I was like, wow. The speaker, the deputy speaker, the majority leader, the minority leader, they have taken care of themselves. But have they thought about our children at home, our schools, no way. There is a school in my constituency that is at risk of being closed, moved to another school. Have they thought about that? No way, but I have. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. And for that, Honorable colleagues, let us not increase anybody's salary. Let us direct those resources back to our community. Yeah, you see, person say the truth like this without fear of anybody. Man, if you get like five of this kind of woman for Nigeria or for Nigeria, um, they don't go grieve for this politician. Um, see how she woman they stand up for people's rights. Wow, Gambia, I beg. I protect this woman, which by all costs, I protect her because this woman, when you see so. In life look the same because you see, I see all of them. They even want to shut her up, say, so that they look to take money to take money. You don't dance on their blood, they look here. You know why? Because they don't hold because they don't hold. They don't say maybe like in the next five ten years, they don't go there again. So now you will suffer. That's why you see them look here that they take your money. You know, so now it's as easy as you can tell them like this. Thank you guys for watching my video. I beg, don't forget to follow me. No verse if I offend you, I beg. I just make and say the truth. I beg, follow me, like my page, share. Thank you guys for watching my video.